what's up scrollers it's nerp here and uh, last test server video we were testing out automatons and stuff and today we are going to be doing some stuff with decay uh, this deck definitely does not have a clear focus like the automatons was clearly an automaton deck i was pretty happy with it this is just shoved in a lot of echo stuff uh, it's like not really an aggressive it's like i guess it's a little aggressive but it goes has all three decay uh, uniques in it um, I'm gonna try it out, see what Sleep Mentorium does, all this other stuff. Uh, it's kind of like a mono mid game decay, not human based. I don't know. And I think Color Plant was around and to here play. Here we go. So, good luck, have fun. Up, oh, hit always deletes my message. Okay, I'm going to keep the Sam's. I have a two drop and a three drop. Two, three drop, actually. Get rid of the Restless Bones early on. So, these are a couple. So, I have three new Echo Scrolls in my hand Corp Strider. Uh, it's almost like a rot eater for your whole board, uh, but on only undead creatures. Uh, so that seems pretty good for undead decks. Pack husk seems real. Ooh, uh, actually, it's good that I'm gonna sacrifice new flesh seamstress piece. Then the sleep moratorium might be able to shoot. I just clicked on scrolls, and it's gonna launch another application. And that might not slow down this computer because it's my crappy laptop I'm playing with right now. Uh, I got excess out. Yeah, that, that's why the audio might be so fuzzy. Uh, I found out I'm actually going to have to use this laptop for like the next like two or three weeks instead of like one or two weeks, like I said. So bear with me, guys. I'll get rid of the new flush seamstress, and I'll just play a corpse strider, I guess. I'm going to play it down the bottom. He's growth, so he might be pretty aggressive against me. Actually, on the test server, the day I'm recording this, just came out a big slew of balance changes. Uh... Like, Blast Automaton went down to 3 health, Spotted Lynx now has 3 countdown. It's a huge nerf to both of those scrolls. They went from being probably a little OP to may maybe not being played much. Um, I'll get rid of the... Hmm. Corpse Theft is really cool, I want to try that out. Okay, but it doesn't destroy the creature. I'd have to kill it myself. I'm gonna get rid of the harvester though, and I'll just play the pack husk. And I'm gonna move up. Because the pack husk, I really like it. It's a three drop. You get a four health creature, and uh, it's like a delayed sister of the fox. You get the scroll when it dies. Not quite an oblivion seeker, but it has more health than an oblivion seeker. And when this dies, you will become a three two. Okay. Now, Restless Bones. That is something I should probably play, right? You're undead? No, you're not undead. You're a human mystic, so I should not play Restless Bones this turn. Um, but I keep Restless Bones, though. No, I don't think I do. I think I just play the Corpse Theft just because I want to. And next turn, we can go with a Sleep Moratorium. I'm just being aggressive right now in the middle. I don't mind if my middle guy dies. And this guy can get buffed a little bit. So this overgrown men uh made this uh, brother wolf attack. Ooh, an update on the test server today was also there's like the enchantments. Uh, you can see them easier. And that's really cool. I see the little sparkles on him. That won't be hard to miss anymore. Definitely like that. Also, thank you, uh, Danatron. In my last video, like the Terrain Brute, or two videos ago, the Terrain Brute had like an arrow pointing to it on the test server. Now, if you like. If you like put your mouse over that, it shows you where the unit was placed. So a beginning player might like be a little confused like where units are. So that's something cool. Oh, I can play the Varus this turn. But Varus isn't even that good in the early game, is it? I was saying I could play the Varus probably because of the Sleep Moratorium if I if I draw the newer. But Varus, yeah, Varus doesn't do a whole lot right now. Kind of have to get out when I destroy some idols. Um, or I could play the Nuru, I guess. You know, let's sacrifice the Varus. I think I want to play Revenant this time he's undead. And uh, let's see if I can get like the Nuru. No Nuru. Restless Bones. I can go Revenant, Restless Bones. I think I'll just go Varus. Because I need him to like just like play. And then I'll just play him in front. As some protection. So not too good there. 
So what did I do? I played... Did I just play two scrolls to play one scroll? Um... Well, the Sleep Moratorium, you play it and you get a scroll. So that doesn't hurt. And then I just played Varus, and now I played... I basically played one scroll. Because I had to sacrifice two. Okay. So basically, all that happened that turn was I got to play six drop instead of a five drop with the Sleep Moratorium. Coolio. And if it was a Nuru, actually... And I would have got I would have gotten to play bees. I would have gotten like eight energy. A Nuru would have been really nice. Okay, so he's just gonna die. Unfortunately it wasn't undead. Um, I am gonna wanna kill this now. Ooh, Doom Teller. I don't think that's great against growth. It may not be great overall, it's just like a four cost structure. But if it's not done anything, twenty turns you lose the game. If you protect it. I'm gonna get rid of it right now, though. Okay, nice. I got some creatures to play. So, I definitely want to kill you because I'll get you on my side, right? I'll get... And you're gonna attack next turn. I want to get a Roger down. Infested Husk is gonna do good things as well. It's good. Infested Husk is similar to the uh, the Pack Husks uh, in that you don't really mind if it dies, but you get a draw scroll. And now I have my own Brother the Wolf! Who's undead? That's really cool. Corpse shard is a very interesting scroll. I guess you want to play it on things that have at least that cost at least four, so you can get good value from it because you're playing four and you're getting delayed creature. So brother of the wolf is like an okay target for it. You can't really place where you want it. Oh, and he's gonna kill that with two hasted braves because of that overgrown member. This thing seems pretty good. It actually used to cost two, but today they made it cost a little bit more. Uh. Hmm. Irva. Yeah, I don't know. This turn, I don't think Irva's gonna be able to do a whole. I don't really have any undead in the board. That's the thing. I have. Oh, the, the infested husk is undead, but I, sh I should really keep the Irva. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the revenant. Soul steel. That is good, but I don't have anything to play with it. Should I still play the soul steel? Yeah, I'm going to do that because I kind of want to play the Irva next turn. Uh, who should I soul steal though? Um, I'm considering soul stealing the vetter and just moving down. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so let's soul steal the vetter. Maybe he might think that's an odd decision. Because the Braves are definitely bigger threats. But the Braves are all the way at the top of the board. Because he used them to kill my brother the wolf. So now I'm in the middle of the board. And he has to come down to me to do things. And this Infectus Hus will probably poison something. Hopefully my Rot Eater can survive. And, uh... Yeah. So... Man, I really... This, I keep feeling it's undead. It's not, though. I really want to just get the Irva down to get some damage in. Also, shouldn't this have the subtype Masked? Isn't, isn't there like 10 masks on this thing? I can't say, I can't seem to say masked. Masked. Yeah. There's like 10 of them on it. Are these masks or like part of its body? I don't know. But you definitely have the subtype mask. Like Harvester has it. Myra Shambler has it. Like that doesn't look as much of a mask as all of these do. Oh no, he's going to be able to kill my Rot Eater. That hurts a bit. Hurts more than a bit. And he puts that in the back so that the rot dude dies first. But now you, now that guy is a 5-4. So at least my creatures are getting stronger. Uh, and it's gonna I'm going to go up to 6 now, I think. I think that will be a wise decision. I need 4 health in front. I will... Ugh, I wish I could kill that. I guess I'll kill one of the Braves. And move up. I kind of have to engage him or else he's just going to destroy my items. I'm at 6 decay now, which is good. I just, uh... If just more of these creatures were undead, that'd be nice.
Like, I want a Rod Eater, and of course, I've seen like some of those rolls, but they don't have any subtypes that are the same. So, yeah, the Harvester is just working as a wall right now. Another Overgrown Manor, so if he puts a two countdown creature in between there, it's going to have haste. And Decay doesn't really have a way of just moving structures besides just brute force. So, it's not too good. Okay, get rid of the Erva. And two flush animators. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to be uh, using that as a wall. And let's see what he has. At least the overgrown man here, if it's doing one thing, this one, to help me is that he can't put three creatures on this row attacking. So he definitely will be able to kill this corpse charter. And he would need an enchantment or something to kill uh, the rot eater. Maybe he's not going to kill this Harvester because it would actually buff the Rod Eater and the Corpse Rider. Or it looks like yeah, he is going to kill the Rod Eater. Okay, so I'm going to have a nice big Rod Eater and a nice big Corpse Rider. I'm going to, I think I want another, uh, I want another Soul Steel. Uh, I don't know what else I want. Is it kind of weird Decay deck to fit in all these Echo Scrolls? I took out some, like, mainstays, like, Languid I don't have. Damning Curse I don't have. It's like a half undead, just half random creatures deck. I just wish all these creatures had undead and the Erva would have more synergy. It might go to two high resources, like I have two Nurus and two of the new champion guy. So yeah, Damning Curse would be good for him. Okay. And he's going to attack next turn. He could have gotten haste with him. Them differently. And there's the third flush animator. I'll sacrifice you for scrolls. Sanctuary of the Lost not really going to do much against growth. I guess I'll. Do I play the pack husk or the flush animator? They're both going to die. I'll kill you. And do I kill this or do I kill a brave? I think I want to keep my guys in a row so. Hmm. Tough decision. I think I'm gonna play the pack husk because I'll draw a scroll from it. And just destroy these guys. I don't feel like I have anything to destroy that rod either. Man, this this guy's really uh he's been living, he's been destroying a creature every other turn. Or I guess the unit that last turn. Probably Sanctuary of the Lost isn't really that important, especially now with people with more lingering stuff, people are going to be running around with uh, lingering removal more often. Yeah, that has good synergy with this guy because he can just get that extra attack buff the next turn. And does he have enough to kill that? I get no, no way he does. He, you know, he needed like an Earthen Mirth this coming turn. Okay. Sleep Moratorium. And a Soul Steel. Okay, let's go with the sleep moratorium, see if we can get another sleep moratorium. What was it? Should I just take another sleep moratorium and just try again? Let's try again. Sleep moratorium. Well. Well, meh. Sleep moratorium again? <laughs> Give me like a Nuru or something. Nuru! Yay! Alright. That was uh, funny. But I don't really need Nuru. I kind of need to play the Soul Stale this turn. I don't have enough resources to play both. Uh, I'll sacrifice the Sanctuary of the Lost for Scrolls. Restless Bones, not really going to do much right now. I guess I'm going to Soul Steal. Ugh, I wish I could play more stuff. I'm going to... Or just play the new or not, I gotta kill stuff. Soul Steel, and place you in the front, I guess. And I won't move down. I probably should've moved down. I kinda ran out of time, though. Man, I played, th <laughs> I played three Sleep Moratoriums. 
I just kept on getting it again. I guess it's nice to have another retry. So, if he just has a mangy wolf, he can kill that rod eater. Ouch. The thing is, like, Sleep Moratorium can be really nice if you have it in the early game and you're able to play, like, a Nuru or the other champion guy, I keep forgetting his name, on, like, turn turn 5. But they're really not at their strongest on turn 5. Uh, they both have, like, powerful dom Dominion, like, stuff. Uh, so, like, yeah, they wouldn't really have their greatest effect then. Okay, he just, he's just going to rally him. So he's going to kill the Rod Eater. I'm going to be able to take out at least his front feed. Not, not a huge blow. Played a 5 cost. Okay, and I'm just going to get rid of the Restless Bones and just kind of build my board up now. Knowing I don't have, knowing I don't have a damage curse, I'm not going to fish for someone to kill that Great Wolf. So I'll play the Rot Eater. And I'll put a Conduit down here. If he kills something, maybe I can finally get rid of this Overgrown on her. So yeah, I, I do like my position in this game. It doesn't feel like we've always had the greatest uh, draws or plays, but this guy's huge, my Rot Eater got huge. And I have more resources than him. Next turn, if, uh, if I'm feeling safe, I'll play a Nuru Flesh Seamstress. Maybe if I'm not feeling safe, I'll still play that for the 7 health. It's cool, these, both of these guys get buffed when like this guy dies. Corpse Strider. Definitely a cool scroll. There's another great wolf. So he's kind of scary. And Mire Mare. Hmm. Now here is where it gets tough. I need to I want you to attack down there. Actually, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play the Nuru. Uh. I'll just go like this. I could get a 100% chance of hitting this or hitting this, but um, I don't want to move my Rod Eater down. Because then both Bright Wolves can come crashing down. So let's see where you move. Down there. I really didn't mind either way. This would lower their, if I killed this guy, it would lower these guys' attack, but killing that uh, will let me get a revenant from this, but then it's probably gonna die from the other creatures, so I don't know, it doesn't really matter. If it went there, I would get the buff on the rot eater. Luckily, he's growth and he hasn't really done a whole lot of idle damage yet. He kind of picked away at my middle three idols, but I've, uh, I'm not in danger of losing the game quite yet. I have more resources than him. He's had more scrolls most of the game. Now, do I have more sleep moratoriums in the deck? I don't even know. So if I played it three times, I kept on, kept on refining the same one. So yeah, I don't think I would have it. All right. So it moves up. Oh, and he's gonna put that there. So if a revenant spawns up to, up top, it's gonna die. So really, I have to want this rev the revenant that spawns from this. Want to move? Want it to spawn on the bottom? Oh, now now it will die either way. And actually, now I want it to spawn in the middle. He's able to this stuff. So the revenant does not spawn. I thought the revenant would spawn, and that was fast. And look, I'm gonna lose this game now. Uh, yeah. That was kind of bad. <laughs> if only this guy was rel relentless. Corpse Strider. 
Yeah, I don't know what we're going to be able to draw to get us back into this game. Well, it looked pretty good until that last turn where I was able to kill my Rot Eater and my Nuru. And this row. And I didn't get a Revenant. Okay, she's good. I heard lots of things about her. Mire Mare, sacrifice you. And two Doom Tellers. Well, that's not really what I want here, is it? No, it is not. Yeah, it looks like this is the end of the game for us. I will... I don't know. I think I'm just going to surrender. GG WP. We'll see if Color Planet wants a rematch. Looks, looks promising that game, but ultimately, uh, he prevailed. Alright, round two. Good luck, have fun. I'm playing the same deck. I'm going, uh, second this time. I don't remember if I went first last game. We'll see if he's playing the same deck. He's playing Decay, okay. Alright, I will keep this starting hand. I certainly like it. I can go one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Well, I guess the 5 play won't really do much because I'm not sacrificing anything that costs more than 5. Yeah. Okay, so I get to kill that. Get rid of... Well, you know what? I'm going to keep both uh, conduits. I like how that sounds. Fortunately, I couldn't afford the Rot Eater this turn. I would have had a nice little 4-4 Rot Eater early on. goes to three no play Meyer mare not really uh, important right now he's really good with Dominion he was nerfed to slightly he used to be a 5-5 five five with uh, Dominion now he's a 4-5 with Dominion still strong but it's not like a two hidden idols anymore so whatever he plays this turn I could just move towards it with these guys yep so I'm just gonna move down uh, what do I play? I'll play... I'm gonna get rid of the flush dude. He's kinda weak. I'll play a conduit. Okay, so now... Another thing, a uh, notable decay scroll that's in most decks that's on this deck right now is a Bolivian Seeker. I mean, Pack Husk is kinda taking its place for me. Also, this is like, kind of like... Has the same idea. Sleep Moratorium. I mean, what does that really do? I didn't really sacrifice anything I need right now. There's no scroll in Fishing Forest. So I'm just going to sacrifice Sleep Moratorium for scrolls right now. Uh, I guess we just play another Conduit. Because that's the most effective use of our resources. I will kill you and get some damage on Middle Idol. So definitely a very good start for us. Bad start for him. I was able to destroy his Rod Eater without losing a scroll and our one drops canceled each other out and I have nice things on the board he does go to five five resources yeah I think I'm gonna take sanctuary the lost out it's really only good against energy and even then it's not that good let's get rid of sanctuary the lost uh, I'm just gonna use my resources uh, effectively I think I'm gonna go with a third conduit or should I? Should I just go with a pack husk? Hmm. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go with a pack husk. Yeah. I think we should get some creatures on the board. This is like not really an aggressive deck, but it's like playing out like it. Witch Doctor. Ooh, Corpse Theft. Uh, do I want a Corpse Theft this turn? I think I want a Rot Eater, though. Let's get rid of the new roof for scrolls. Let's... Let's just Rot Eater, I think. I think I'm going to lose 
a creature, so Rat Eater would be good. And Revenants might spawn soon, so the Rat Eater's gonna get buffed. And now I have uh, Irva. These guys, the new fodder. If I were him, I probably wouldn't even destroy this infected husk. It's gonna attack next turn, though. It's not like it doesn't have the poisonous trait, so it's not like when he attacks something, it's not gonna poison it. Alright, so he's just gonna curse maybe a brain lice to take that out right away. Another witch doctor. Maybe he's saving the brain lice. Okay. Russell's bones, I think I'm gonna hold on to. Uh. You know, I think I'm just gonna play the Irva this turn. Yeah. Yeah, probably just gonna Irva. Because I should save the Restless. I won't, because next time I won't be able to play the Restless Bones and the Irva. So I'll play the Irva. I'll take out the uh, Curse Monger right now. Um, hmm. How do I do this? I think like this. Because I'm gonna basically. I'll basically be giving up my Rod Eater that's already cursed. Because I have a feeling he already had an answer to that with a brain lice. I didn't want to put him like where this infested house would be in the husk in front because I didn't want to let him destroy this uh, conduit with just the witch doctor. Now I have the Herba there right in the middle. He does have a Harvester that's slowly counting down. Okay. So he's gonna run away down there, away from my attacking dudes. The Irva's still gonna get to do stuff, and there's our another harvester, so he knows things are gonna die. I know things are gonna die. Let's see. Does a Russell's Bones make sense this turn? Uh, I'm not really too scared about the Harvesters attacking. I have so many things on the board. Uh, Russell's Bones wouldn't really do much, so I'm going to save that. I will get rid of the Corpse Theft here for Scrolls. And I will move down. I'll move you there, you there, you there, you there. Um, should I just put on a rot eater? Pack husk, flush animator. Another conduit. I think, uh, I think we're gonna go with a piece. Rod eater. Because this room might get destroyed. Okay. Yeah, this, this harvest is going to attack. Oh, both, both harvests are gonna attack, aren't they? Okay then. I probably should have played a pack husk, pack husk instead of the rod eater. Or a flesh animator so I can play the rod eater and the pack husk this coming turn. I guess it absorbs a little more. Even with both those harvesters attacking, I'm not I'm not in t too bad of, bad of a position. I'm gonna get revenants. Maybe I should have just played another conduit. Maybe on top just to Maybe surprise win with the Russell Spawns next turn and deal damage to the top idols. Ooh, return to nature. Does take up three resources for him. He's going to be able to kill the Rot Eater 
and uh, this isn't this guy gonna survive then this rod eater shouldn't the witch doctor be moved up one okay so what happens here I got a revenant there another revenant another revenant <laughs> you get poisoned I get another revenant and then you survive okay now is where I wanted an Erva, but I guess a Russell's Bones wouldn't be bad either. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. Ooh, Corpse Strider. Corpse Strider is really good. Okay, we're going to... Do I even need to, uh... Russell's Bones? It doesn't really do a lot. Yeah, I don't need to Russell's Bones. I'd rather... What does Russell's Bones even do? It would let me. All it would do is let me use one less on there. Let me kill this guy. I, I don't. I'm not gonna wrestle bones this turn. I'll save that. I will sacrifice the flesh, dude. Need more resources. And I want. I want you in the middle so you can get all that stuff. I want you to get huge, and then I need protection. Nice four health thing for protection. Yay! Oh no, that harvester attacks. I forgot about the harvester attacking. I should have probably just put this corpse shredder up top. Yeah, that was kind of a mistake. I completely forgot all those revenants would die. That harvester would attack. Yeah, this deck really has no way of destroying his creatures besides soul stealable things. Oh no. Yeah. That was not too smart by me. A little odd. Okay, I'm not dead yet though. Get rid of that. Ferris. Well, I don't know what good he does right now. I think we want to wait until, like... Uh... I think I want to protect my harvester the most. Okay. He has growth now. Why does he have growth? Oh yeah, return to nature. At least both harvesters are at the same countdown try to make ours attack first. We have the Restless Bones and Soul Steel in our hand. So we are in a position to do that. There's an Oblivion Seeker. Moves up. And that's that. Okay. So... Uh, Soul Steel... I think I have to get rid of the Varus. It's just not going to do much right now. I think I have to... Soul Steel and Conduit. And just engage. I really just have to engage. So... Conduit... And Soul Steel. Maybe I should have just taken 7 idle damage. Or dealt 7 idle damage. And. Maybe we can get the R Harvester to attack next turn if it doesn't die this turn. Might be able to. He's probably going to kill one of my creatures. I would need. I would basically need another Soul Steel to be able to do that. I really should have Damn Curse in this deck. This deck just doesn't feel complete. It doesn't have a Necrogen to win or anything. Alright, so he's going to languid me. That hurts a little bit. That means I won't be able to kill that Witch Doctor. I see a lot of times people are afraid to play languids on 
things like arbalest deers and harvesters because they don't seem like they're going to be attacking very often. So they think they can uh, put a ling on something else and get more value. But really, I should just do it. Ooh, double rest bones. Um, <laughs> I think I have to do that. Double rest bones with an infected husk. Well, you're not going to be able to attack with you so much. Alright, let's see if we can draw like a revenant. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm still gonna double Russell's Bones, I think. Russell's Bones. Russell's Bones. Ten. Maybe I only need one Russell's Bones. Hmm. So, let's see. Ten is going... Is ten enough to, uh... Kill this Harvester? That's going to deal 8 and then 2. I don't have enough to kill that, darn it. Crap. Let's, uh... Move up to kill you. Move down there. And... Yeah, I think I lost this game. There's just not a lot to do. Okay. Killed one of the harvesters. And he has eight scrolls now. Yeah, I think that double restless bones was a mistake. I probably should have only played one restless bones. Almost wasted a scroll there. Could have played something else. Like a corpse strider would have been good. He's going for wild. So he just sack for wild, just sack for wild, or does he actually have something with like two growth to play? Hmm, this isn't as bad as I thought. I'm mean, he's a lot of scrolls. I might be able to destroy an idol with this guy next turn. Corpse theft. So he's really racking up all these harvesters. Which makes me afraid to use that soul steal. I don't have like a darkling or anything to get rid of this idol. And he plays a darkling. Darkling with the new scary art. I'm gonna be able to destroy that at least. Do I even want to destroy that right now? That's the question. I'm gonna. Should I go to eight? Hmm. I'm gonna save the soul seal. Or maybe not play it at all. I will. Eh. I'll sacrifice the soul steel. Or no, I need it for next turn. I messed up there. Ugh. Well, still, I'm, I'm destroying uh, that this turn. Because that's what I want to do. And then I'll go Harvester, Corpse Strider. Infested husk. And we destroyed Nidal, yay. He goes for scrolls. Yeah, it's a pretty big mistake there. <laughs> Sacrifice that soul steal. I forgot I was supposed to use that soul steel to kill this harvester. No, to return to nature. Not a huge deal. Not sure what he has uh what he has in mind. 
Another brainless. He wants to kill that thing. Doesn't want it to snipe another idol. I feel like some... Maybe I should get a Doom Teller out. Doom Teller out and just protect that thing. Nuru. Yeah, I think the new is coming out right now. With Dominion, that's what I want. And this Harvester... I don't want to kill anything. Yeah, I really don't. Yes, let's just play this. Or er, let's protect the harvester. Okay, so now he's strong stuff on our board. I don't know if he has like he's packing like watcher again or anything like that. I can take out that bottom idol, I just have to protect a Doom Teller for, uh, for four turns. Okay, might have trouble destroying that. Okay, so that's going to die. My Harvester does attack, though. Hopefully he can't kill my... My dude. My, my, uh, Nuru. Blight Bearer. Okay. Revenant. Ooh, Varus. Okay, we're gonna go for the unique. We're gonna have a unique party. And a Doom Teller. Alright, things are pretty hectic. <laughs> My, um, Harvest is going to attack next turn, my Nuru is going to attack next turn, and now I have this dude, and it looks like a Color Plant might destroy this idol, so he could have 7 attack. Really close game, I think this last, like, couple turns have really, uh, helped me, looked like he was gonna win, but now it's up in the air. If he just has a couple damning curses, he can come back to being in the lead, but I haven't seen a damning curse from him. Okay. Keeper's Pledge. Oh, so that's what he's splashing. Oh no, does he have the win? I don't think he has the win. No, he has the win. Oh, GGWP. That was a good game. He has a win, right? Oh no, he doesn't. Oh yeah, no, he does. Or does he? Wait, he's not destroying Middle Idol, is he? That was really weird. Because all the oh, because the husks, you have to take into account what what order the husks spawn to get the attack well. So this idol is actually gonna have one health. Oh boy. And that's going to be game for me. Wow. <laughs> and there. Now because he played that. That way these guys have more attack now. So I can win the game. <laughs> what a match. Well, GGW Pizza Color Plant. Yeah, this... I, my Decay deck is not refined, but these decks are explosive and they're a lot of fun to play. So maybe next time, probably break up the tester videos again, but next time on the test server, probably, I don't know if I'll try Growth or Order next. Uh, but yeah, follow me on Twitter, uh, follow me on Twitch. Actually, I won't, I won't stream on Twitch for like probably a few weeks until I have my new computer. Uh, and like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content.
So see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.